Hey everybody, it's Music Row Promo again, and we are back at it with the Music Row filming series. Today we are at BMI. Let's go inside and say hi to some alumni. Hey, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Sit you too. Oh, hey. Welcome to my crib. I mean, my <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Glad you're here. Thank you. So, uh, what year did both of you graduate from Belmont? I graduated in December 2010. And I graduated in December of 2015. Very nice. Now, what are your current positions here at BMI? I'm associate director of creative. Director of creative. This is the creative department. Or that they still let us come in the day. <laughs> top, top security. Got Mason Hunter. <laughs> and here we have some lovely ladies that are working on our BMI Country Awards, diligently working, getting everyone on the list, and uh, we'll be working on seating pretty soon. Awesome. Now, uh, what were both of your favorite classes that you took at Belmont? My favorite class was uh, survey, for sure. Very cool. I had favorite. Shelby Kennedy. He was awesome. My favorite class was probably copyright law okay. with Cheryl Slay Carr because <laughs> she was uh, scary, but also awesome <laughs> and pushed me quite a bit. So that was probably my favorite. <laughs> Did you have any uh, favorite organizations that you were involved in like, at Belmont? I love Service Corps. Lots of good opportunities to be around events and learn how they work and meet a bunch of cool people. I love being a tour guide. That was probably my favorite thing, was having to learn to walk backwards in all of their rooms. It's coming in. You go and walk at the same time, so walking backwards and giving a tour is really hard. It's coming in handy today, right? Yeah, it's perfect for today. This is our creative lobby. Um, we can do events here sometimes when there's a little smaller group. Um, we bring it in here and make it a little more intimate. Um, the doors open up for a nice patio um, where we can put a bar and some food and just make it a party. And of course you saw the lobby when we walked in. That's for a bigger party and always good for uh, when it's cold or rainy like today. And fun fact, when this used to be like a really weird, gross pool. We called it like the, <laughs> the lagoon, and they they have turned it into a patio now, which yeah. I think is it's a little bit better. But also, Miss Nancy graduated from Belmont when it was Belmont College, right? What year? What year did you graduate? Oh wow! Yeah, so she's an, she's the OG Belmont graduate. <laughs> Her favorite study spot. Well, back in my day, it was called Combo. <laughs> um, I remember a Desmond Child thing that was pretty cool when he came to a Wellcore event, and then also the Warren Brothers. I remember it. I remember that. And I loved Harry Chapman. He was the guy who used to do all the, do all the interviews, and uh, he worked with Oprah early in his career, and like I just loved him. He was so special. I mean. Uh, he's retired. He's doing great. We love him, but I haven't talked to him in a while, but good memories. Favorite study spot was either McDougal's <laughs> or the, um, what do you call those, gazebos outside of Hale Hall. Yeah. Even though it was extremely cliche, like, I loved, you know, going to the gazebo because it was quiet. So, yeah, either one or the other. Love it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, sure. Come this way. <laughs> this really more, is cribs. She watches more, she <laughs> watches more TV. <laughs> this, this is, is yeah. Easier for her. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can do it too. <laughs> These pictures are kind of cool. Yeah. These are um, first time winners. Here you uh, see Ernest so laying down in front of me and El King, and we're actively having a conversation about how awkward he is here. Here's a uh, Belmont alum, Brindley Addington. Who else went to Belmont? I think just me and you. No. Probably more. Anyway. 
Lots of pictures. This is from uh, the Bluebird thing that we did at, um, well, at the Bluebird, but it was the CMT Next Women of Country collab. Yeah. This was our big Luke Combs um, parking lot party, parking lot party oh, cool. number one party. All of these back here are millionaire performances, so we award people when their song has been streamed or played a million times, um, which is pretty cool because you can see there's like dozens of them for him, so <laughs> pretty crazy. This was just a casual picture of uh, Luke Combs and 8,000 of his closest friends hanging out in our parking lot. <laughs> that was a good day. Should we go to the um, cafe? Haley Witter's open for him that night, and she's Belmont alum too. She was yeah. a friend of mine at oh, school. Oh, no kids. Hey, Mason. That's Mason. He didn't There's go to Belmont. Mason Hunter. Mason yeah. didn't go to Belmont, but Mason's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like Mason. Thank you. Oh, here's Clay Bradley. Oh, yeah, Clay Bradley's our boss. He's not very cool. He's all right. What are y'all up to? We're filming for Belmont. Oh right my now. God, is it going all right? Yeah, it is. yeah it's going good. Am I good? Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> this is, I had to have clearance on that. <laughs> yeah. This is show that Goss show that if we wouldn't be able to distribute money to songwriters. Yeah. He is very important to the process of paying songwriters. <laughs> He's a smart guy. He's the brains behind the operation. Clay just listens to Sherbert. <laughs> this is our new cafe. We um, built this, me and Josh built this um, during COVID. And uh, it used to be the mailroom. So now it's this great um, snacks, great little cafe, and there's coffee and some really great furniture to lounge around or have meetings. This is awesome. So, do y'all work with people um, that you met at Belmont? Yeah. Like, who, well, who any notable people? Or? Um, I mentioned Brindley Addington before. He just had a number one song. Um, Russell Dickerson, you know, he's yeah. doing really well. We were at Belmont together. Ryan Hurd went to Belmont with him. Joey Hyde, who at the time was called Joe Hooger Hyde, and I like to say the Hooger is silent now. <laughs> if he sees this, he'll like that. He knows. Uh, what about you? Devin Dawson. You were there at the same time as FGL, too, right? Well, oh, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, I think best memory, one of the best memories was meeting Tyler Hubbard, and he had just met Brian Kelly and was telling me about how they were writing songs together and you know he was all excited so seeing the formation of Florida Georgia Line was pretty cool and like very I remember walking across campus and Tyler was parked where he shouldn't have been parked in front of Massey <laughs> and he had this giant blue truck with his phone number on the back because he had like a car detailing service and he asked money. yeah <laughs> he asked if he could play me some songs and so we got up in his truck and listened and it was like this mix of country and hip-hop stuff that you kind of know Florida Georgia Line as now but it was something I'd never heard it was so different and fresh and I just thought it was so cool and I can I can picture it you know with Massey like right here yeah. it was really cool <laughs> it's a good memory I remember I think one of the cooler moments for me when I was there was that I've got this awkward cup um, <laughs> One of the cooler things was like Emily Wiseman and Devin Dawson were both there at the same time that I was there. And I remember both of them being like going through the motions of trying to find a publishing deal and figuring out what, you know, they wanted to do. But seeing both of them graduate with a publishing deal, I was like, whoa, like they're actually doing it and you're capable of doing it. And I thought I, that that was definitely a, a core memory for me is seeing them both accomplish that and pull that off. Should we go upstairs? All right. So now we're taking you up to sixth floor, and this is where we have our rooftop parties. A series that we do through the summer is called Rooftop on the Row, and it's also convenient. It's a lot of fun. See Belmont from our rooftop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from Belmont to down the street. <laughs> <laughs> HR is also on this level, so so everyone, everyone be good. <laughs> uh, 
I was just gonna say one of my favorite parts about up here is all of the music, your music moves us signs that have all of our affiliates plastered on the walls. It's pretty cool. You got Kane Brown, Marin Morris, Ludacris, Lady Gaga. They go all the way down the hallway with Luke Bryan, Casey Musgraves, a bunch of really cool folks. Willie so Nelson. Taylor. Somebody's guitar. I'm not really sure whose guitar this is, but it's kind of cool looking. There we go. So on a big uh, rooftop on the row night, we have like 400 people, sometimes more up 400, here. 400, 500 people, yeah. And we've got food and drinks and performers. Usually we have someone who's like I mean, up and coming, cold. emerging country artists uh, perform, which is a lot of fun. But yeah, actually, you know, it's like the Sarah Palin. I can see Russia from my backyard. Um, I can see Belmont from my front yard. Right over here. Just over there. So you can, yeah, you can, it, what's it? You, you got to go home, but you can't stay here. What's the line? I don't know. I feel like that way about Belmont. It just keeps coming back. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. You can check here. out any time, but you can never leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it for sure. Little Hotel California. Yeah. Yep. Oh, obviously, it's a little better on a beautiful sunny day, but you know, you get the idea. What is some advice you guys have for Sorry. Belmont graduates? Advice for Belmont graduates? Yeah. Belmont students, graduates. Um, I think it's important to set goals that are like a month out, two months out, six months, five years. Something that sounds, the five years should be something that sounds crazy. Because the idea is um, if you have to, if you have a decision to make that's maybe you have two good offers on the table, you look at which one is going to take you closer to that five year goal faster. Um, and then the smaller goals are also helpful because you can basically gauge success or it's not to beat yourself up necessarily it's to reassess and say why didn't I accomplish that um, but this industry is really hard to gauge success because you know sometimes you know it's a number one song but there's so many successes along the way to that number one so you've got to have these smaller goals along the way to know that you're moving in the right direction and then the bigger goals to uh, you know to keep striving for too. like it's really important to um, the flags I think it's really important to not take yourself too seriously um, is that a dig at me for how seriously I took that question no <laughs> maybe no I think you don't have to take yourself too seriously because I think that sometimes in the music business we have all these metrics like Marianne was saying where we're like oh if I'm not here by year number two or here by year number five then you're failing and I think that if you just remember that all the way you know, all along the way like you know we're all just kind of trying to figure it out and I think that it's important to not worry too much about what you look like or how you're being perceived by people and just remember you're here because you're passionate about it in the first place like we all went to Belmont and ended up where we are now because we were passionate about music and I think that's what's so great about the program too so can go see that. Actually, yes, one last thing. We have a really cool movie theater. <laughs> we got to flex on them a little bit. <laughs> no, we actually don't ever even use the movie theater. Oh, we don't. I think it's bizarre. We, it was used this year for the film festival okay. for a screening, and there's a couple different events that we do. And I asked them if we could watch the Super Bowl in there, but they didn't take that very kindly because... <laughs> that would be fun. You can't have drinks in there, so... I don't think, locked out. I hope we're not. By the grace... Yeah, man. Um, All right, Marianne, do your best Vanna White. You're entering the movie theater at BMI. It's our own private screening room. This is where I watch the news. <laughs> Hi, thanks for coming by. This was so great. Thanks for having us. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> okay, now get out. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Now Thanks. come back anytime. Bye. Thank you. Come back and call us first.